the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, as we said before, the wind has been blowing and things have been going uh, around the area. But uh, temperatures this morning started out in the 40s, which really for this time of year is pretty good. During the day, we had a few breaks here. We went into the 60s. And then the western part of the state has had more clouds and a few sprinkles out there. But overall, temperatures are pretty uniform tonight. And the breeze is going to continue overnight as well. It's a big storm system. We've been talking about it for quite a while. We've, it was in fact, we've seen it for about two weeks coming in, and uh, we do want, or what we are watching is wind advisories are getting posted up to the north and east of us, and that'll include our southeastern uh, Kansas areas uh, that would do have wind advisories for tomorrow, and that might become inclusive of some areas here in Tulsa uh, area. Uh, but out to the west, the red indicates winter storm warnings, and then we have travel advisories in the orange. So we have two parts of this storm system. There's the main part that's kind of shearing apart right now, but there's an additional part of the storm system that we still have to go through. And so that's pretty impressive in terms of what's going to happen. There's some additional rain and snow, higher elevations, the Sierra Nevada mountain range. And then there's a bigger part that's still up to the north and to the west. We're keeping our eyes on because this is the one in the Gulf of Alaska. Doesn't look like much right now, but there's a chance of creating rain and snow for us as we start to move on into the time period for Super Bowl Sunday. So during the course of the next day and a half, we're going to see it diving south. By the time we get toward the weekend, it's going to be rounding a curve and about Saturday night into Sunday, it's headed toward Oklahoma. So it's a long way away, a lot of real estate between here and there. So there's still a couple of fluctuations that could occur. Mentioned this at five o'clock. I think Stacia mentioned it at uh, four o'clock as well. But one of the tracks that uh, our, some of our models are taking is that a chance of rain and snow are gonna be just in areas around Tulsa, but snow is likely in Northwestern Oklahoma and Kansas. That's the first track. The second track that we're watching with another model says it could be a little bit further south. If that's the case, we have a little bit more of the way of snow and rain. It doesn't look like a bad temperature deal, Arctic air, but there is some Arctic air in our future that we will have to watch for. So the chances of rain are pretty high. They've gone up uh, during the course of the last 24 hours. And so then it is a winter mix of some rain and snow for Sunday night into early Monday morning. So we're gonna have to see how our Super Bowl Sunday evening turns out. One thing that's interesting is that that cold air coming in is gonna make it awfully cold for our Sunday afternoon. We're very warm through Friday. And then we get this warm up just in time for around the Valentine's Day. And then right after Valentine's Day, about the 16th, we drop off and check out what's happening here. This is a lot colder than we even had last night, but our models are starting to sync up with some really, really cold air. That's not the way we want to go, but you know, it's still winter and we still have to deal with it. Temperature is 62 degrees right now. Dew point at 30, so the air is pretty dry. And our temperatures in the upper 50s, low 60s, as I mentioned, it's not going to drop off much to at all tonight. We'll be in the low 50s, maybe a passing sprinkle about four o'clock in the morning, the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the 70s. And so you're going to get spring fever, but you're also going to be blowing and going because the winds are going to be very strong. Fire danger's up. So again, no burning tomorrow. Help us out because the winds tonight will be strong. And then they're strong all day tomorrow, 30, 35, some gusts maybe near 40. They die down a little bit for Friday, but still 15 to 25 miles per hour. Friday's highs will be in the 70s again. That's pretty much the end of it, though. Then we start to get clouds and colder weather coming in by Friday night and Saturday morning. We'll be in the upper 30s, low 40s in the morning, the afternoon in the 50s. Not a bad Saturday, so that's okay. Then Sunday, here's where that storm system comes in. Rain chances increase by the time we get to about noon into the afternoon. Rain or snow in northwestern Oklahoma. Then as the cold air moves in, it should wrap around with rain or snow mix for late Sunday night into Monday morning. Could be just near freezing, just enough that we have to be aware. Yeah, winter. Now, all right, 57, warm for this time of night at 9 o'clock. We'll be looking for 55 in the morning, which is really not bad at all. And then upper 60s to near 70. The winds are going to be really flying on through tomorrow. Hang on to your hat as we're looking at uh, wind gusts of 30 uh, to almost 40 miles an hour. And then there's that cold air on Sunday with that rain mixing with or changing snow. And we're going to have to watch that really close. And then next week we warm up, and then that's the beginning of a big cool down by next Friday. So it's ups and downs this time of year. All right. Thank All you, right. Travis. Yeah.